So today I just uploaded all of my videos that I did on Facebook to YouTube and realized I had a lot of stuff missing and partly because uh, my house is such a mess that I don't want to show stuff and I you know you watch those home improvement shows and of course they've got 50 people behind the scenes and they make it like all perfect and I don't have that it's just me so I decided that I'm not gonna care anymore I'm just gonna show you what I've got because I've actually done a lot since um, the last videos like I haven't been showing a lot and my bathroom is almost done and I've been kind of waiting for the the final touches so that I can wow everybody but I thought you know what I'm gonna show you anyway because I don't even know when those final touches are gonna happen we've kind of we've got it functioning everything's going great there's a lot that still needs to be done like just trim shelves mirror that kind of stuff but we're really trying to get our kitchen done because um, We'd like to have it done before summer's over, and it's not. So, um, without further ado, so we still, I've still got a stain. I've got to do another coat on there. Um, here's the door, beautiful. Got to build shelves for that. And then here's the, the plaster, turned out really great. Um, originally I was gonna stencil this to match that, and then I've got a stencil for that, but I decided, you know what, I'm gonna wait until we refinance because it's just one more thing that I've got to do and I, we feel kind of pressured for time. But, um, so there's the ceiling and there's the facade arch and the tile turned out really great. Um, our toilet we actually got from my uncle and it's actually a really nice toilet. I'm super happy with it. And here's our little sink. And it will have the mirror on it once I finish. I got to touch up some of the trim. And, and the trim was kind of fun to do. This trim down here. Oh, let's see. Can we see it? Maybe on this side. So there's that stencil. And this stencil is the stencil that's supposed to be going up there as well. So that it kind of ties them in together. And in my original design, I have a, a trellis that I was going to make out of copper wire. But that's not going to happen for a while because I decided that it, it, it was super labor intensive. So, um, and as you can see, we're living in our house. So, um, and then the kitchen, uh, this is going to get cleaned up today because we're going to be going into plaster mode this weekend and try to knock out as much of the kitchen as possible. Um, we got a compressor, which has been helpful. So we've got to get this wall set up. We've started some of the plaster here, uh, first layers, and um, we've started painting the trim. We'll walk down here and I'll show you if the light's not gonna kill the video feed. So it's, mm, there we go. It's kind of this turquoise color. I don't know, we've got the lighting hitting the camera funny. And then, I got this door painted nice before it was just an ugly forest green color and now it's a beautiful turquoise and copper and blue and then this area here I'm trying to decide thinking about doing red um, just as a complimentary and then do the red up there so it's a very just in those just those places and I had super fun painting that um, I realized there were some places that needed to be patched after I painted it, so I patched them last night and I'll have to go and touch that up. And then our yard still doesn't look like anything special because we've got to get the inside done first. But we took apart the porch, the deck, um, all needed to be redone. So Joe uh, got some stuff to brace it up because it had sagged all the wood that was sitting. So under this wood is... A rock foundation and all the wood that was sitting on top of it before was rotten and so it had slumped and had a slope and we put the Trex decking on it to help it and it's really nice it really Joe did a really good job and then we've got to get these pieces put back together there's our little puppy that's not so little anymore and we've got to figure out how to integrate him into the house safely because Every time we let him in, he's 
likes to chew on stuff. Um, we've got some helpers coming in a couple weeks. They're going to help us scrape. We have to remill these. When we took them off, a lot of them fell apart. But we will be uh, remilling those and putting them back on the porch. So, still lots of work to do. We're almost, well, we're in August. And we're not as far along as we thought we would be. But I think that's just because we really didn't know what to expect. And hopefully you guys could hear that with the big truck in the background. Um, but yeah, we just, I, I think we just didn't know what to expect. I think we just thought it would go faster. And we're finding that a lot of the, the things that we have to do just aren't fast things. Like um, just those little plaster patches that I did. Those were, that's eight hours worth of work. Just that alone. And so yeah, so just all this stuff just takes time. And next week I've got my son coming and he's going to, He's gonna help me work on the cabinets. And we probably won't, I don't wanna get them installed until we're done plastering and get the ceiling tiles on and all of that stuff just so that we don't have to finagle the scaffolding. That was one of the things I found that really slowed me down in the bathroom um, was the, we decided to go ahead and get the toilet in so that we could have a toilet. But then it made it really hard to plaster with the ladder because by the time I got to doing most of the plaster, the shower was in, the toilet was in, the sink was in, and I had to move that ladder in that small space around all those things. So with the kitchen, as badly as I want a kitchen sink, um, I really want to get the plaster done right so that we can use the scaffolding because it's so much easier on the scaffolding. And hopefully by the end of August, um, I realized when I was watching some of my other videos, uh, things <laughs> haven't turned out the way that that I had thought. But that's okay. Like that's just part of the process. So, um, but we're super happy. Like this is this really is an amazing home, and I just feel super uh, blessed and grateful to be here and to be the one doing this. And just I'm so in love with this building. Like I'm just. I really am. Even in some of the conditions that it's in right now, I just, I just, I'm loving it. I'm loving every part of the process. And um, you realize, I think, how much you take for granted where you live and all the work that goes into it, even if it's not 100 years old. Um, you know, everything is, is labor intensive. And there's a lot of craft, craftsmanship that goes into building a home. And you realize that. Um, when you're working on a project like this and it makes me appreciate more just the the work that goes into this project anyway okay so um that gives you a little update i'm not going to show you the rest of the house because we're living in it and it looks like like a really sad camping situation <laughs> so um i'll show you those as we progress and get going and have something to show so anyway uh, thanks for watching.